Hey guys, welcome to Traditional Bow Hunting Wilderness Podcast. This is Jason Sam Kovac. Today we're going to be talking about this hitch rack right here. This thing has been amazing. If you know hitch racks, you know they're heavy, they're bulky, they're a pain in the butt to deal with, and they add a lot of weight on the back of your car. This one breaks all those rules. This thing is amazing. As you see it right here, i got a huge Coleman cooler on this thing. Um, I'll put the specs in the description so you see what the width is for this thing. But um, this is, like I said, biggest one of the biggest Coleman coolers you can get. Traction boards are on there. But this thing is stable and it doesn't move. I mean, look at that thing. It's, it doesn't bounce too much. The thing's absolutely incredible. I'm going to take a second. I'll show you what we got going on here um, as far as how it's set up. And I'll take everything apart and show you. But what I like about this rack is it's all aluminum. This thing being aluminum is lightweight. It's like a 25 pound rack. So it's real easy to carry versus steel ones, which are 75, 80 pounds. Um, and again, that's another 75 or 80 pounds hanging on the back of your car, working against your suspension. So this one being 25 pounds is nice. And not only is it aluminum, it's all welded aluminum. It's not one of those ones that you bolt together that are gonna give you issues. And the price is very affordable. So I'm gonna give you that. But before I do wanna show you, that even here, when we're looking at this, on my Cherokee Trailhawk that I have, the space you have behind here is enough space that I can actually still, if I slide this to the front and I have this big cooler on here, I'll pop you off that tripod or I'll bring you over here and show you that you can actually use the tailgate still. You can see because they give you a long enough bar here in that section that I can still open and you can see it's just barely with this cooler, but you can see that I can still open my tailgate back up back here, which is really nice. So this thing's got a lot of great features to it, and uh, it's been really, really good. As you can see, it's filthy dirty. We're down here in Georgia. We're hog hunting, and we're bouncing around in the woods, and you can see how dirty everything is. And keep in mind, most of it here is, is water we're dealing with. But uh, but this thing's been through the ringer, and it's held up fantastic. I've taken it to Missouri. I had it on in Kansas. This thing's just uh, done its job and done its job very well so i'm gonna take a second pause this and i'm gonna pop off that stuff and show you more about this thing all right so here we go everything's off there but like i said you can see this rack uh, i'll bring you in for close-ups on it but what's really nice about this thing the biggest factor is the weight of this is just incredibly light when you're talking lightweight racks i mean this thing here like i said we're talking 25 pound rack nothing to this weight wise all welded construction on here this thing is just amazing like i said they're all locked in and sealed in and i mean this thing is you know it's just very well built and strong but yet on the same note very very light like you, you know you're talking 75 80 pounds for a steel version and uh, this one is next to nothing so you can store it when i went down to missouri i just left this thing hanging on a, on a hook in my trailer and then when i got down there i could put it on and use it for deer and things like that but huge weight ratings well built solid great design like i said welded in I, I, this is a steel crossbar here but the whole basket itself is all basically aluminum so very lightweight very simple take it out of your garage just slide it right in your hitch drop it into the holes line up and then just put your hitch pin in and that's all there is to it there it doesn't get any easier than that find a hole wherever i put it and then you are all set right there and then drop your pin in you are good to go and that is in put your other side in you are set so sweet simple and easy i'm gonna pull you off the tripod bring you around for some close-ups of it and let you see all right here we go that's it close up of it right here you can see look at the quality of that the build quality channel set and welded um just phenomenal lightweight they do give you reflectors back here too which are just kind of nice for so that somebody's not banging into the back of this at a stoplight or anything like that uh they don't give you any of the size would you think they would do for people like at a walmart parking lot or something like that so they don't walk into it or hit it but um they do give them to you on the back which is nice and i love how high up it sits on there if you look at this, so we can still use this off road because of the height of that tray or that tray on the back being as tall as it is. Um, I don't have to worry about dragging it on nothing or hitting it when I'm coming out of holes and, and ruts and things like that. So, like I said, absolutely phenomenal rack. Can't say enough good things about it. Uh, cooler wise, we're using it for pigs, but also 
or down here that is actually my inflatable boat that you've probably watched a video on that intex uh, uh explorer k2 inflatable kayak and two sets of waders in here too this is my uh you know this is my my backcountry georgia get through whatever i gotta get through kit and then uh, i can fill it full of pigs when i get there so sweet and easy everything fits right on that rack and it doesn't take up the space that we have in the back end of this so this rack very very well done like i said i have three three other ones of these or this is my third one the two other ones are steel one's rusted out next to nothing um they were both cheap racks but they were they did their job this one ultra light built well rugged and uh, high quality and not very expensive there'll be a link down below for you where you can find it i got it right from amazon and uh like i said fits on there like a champ doesn't wiggle and rock side to side like the steel ones do it just to fit and finish on this thing is incredible so there you go check it out thanks for watching all right bye